everybody and welcome to another Pixel for Life video tutorial. Today we are going to start our first part of coding the website that we made, which is this right here, if you don't remember it. And this tutorial is going to be somewhat complex. We aren't going to use the design view at all, uh, just going to pretty much hand code this. It sounds, uh, sounds difficult, but it's pretty easy. Uh, so one more look at this, just in case you forgot what it looked like. We have a header navigation with a background, a sidebar, and main content. That's You need to remember that for when you're making the website. So let's start off and save this document right here in our main website folder. I'm going to call it index.php and save it as .php not HTML. It's because we are going to be using PHP coding later down the line and the document needs to be PHP for that. So save that and I'm going to start off by making a few spaces here and then create one more file and let's see new file and call it styles.css this is going to hold all, all our CS, CSS so quick shortcut in Dreamweaver to attach it is just drag and drop and if you're not using Dreamweaver that's alright you can just type this code in right here in the, in the header tags of your website and it will do the same thing so let's just start off by giving a quick title and I'll name it pixel for life and now we need to start envisioning our website so one more look at this and you can see that we need a div for the header and then a page wrap for the rest of this so let's just start off by doing that come on over to the body tags make a few spaces and indent a bit just to keep it neat and going to create a new div with the ID of header and then just close that for now and then I'm going to create a div page wrap so it's going to be div ID equals page wrap and then close that off and let's send that pretty much to the bottom and let's make a comment so we know that this is page wrap end simple as that and then within this page wrap I'm just going to start off with the navigation so the navigation I want to cut this in, into two parts one one div for the background and one div for the text inside of here so I'm going to do that by indenting a bit and going div ID equals navigation underscore background and then close that off make a couple spaces indent and then I'm going to use an unordered list for the text of the navigation bar so I'm going to do that by doing ul id equals navigation and just going to close that off for now and let's get started on the CSS let's save that and open up the styles.css first thing I like to do is just clear out this comment here and add my own which is going to be Steven S pixel for life no big deal just something I like to do now the first thing I start with is making a few global resets pretty much so the website should work with Internet Explorer 6, 7 and those are the pretty much the main ones you need to watch out for so I'm just going to do this this asterisk tab out a bit and the curly brace and go margin 0 padding 0 and that's going to reset all of the default margin and padding in web browsers so they are zero and then HTML uh, let's just keep this neat and bring this out a bit overflow Y scroll and I'm not going to explain all this or it's going to take too long I'm just going to type in real quick HTML or let's just add it right here height 100% Sorry, I like to keep this neat. And then UL, that's our unordered list. And just going to list style square inside. 
Oh well. Will the style decimal inside? A outline none. Text decoration underline a image um, border none and then the last one is going to be image vertical align middle now I'm not sure how much of this you need I just like to throw this in on all of my websites just to stay safe so now let's start off by creating or editing the background so for that I'm going to go uh, body which is the main background and then on the image you can, on our template you can see that there's a bit of a gradient for the background so do that I cut out a little sliver when we were making the when we were cutting out the template so I'm going to put background URL and we can just search for the URL here and image background or you can just type all that out and go repeat X so that means it's going to repeat from the left to the right and then background color and this is going to be the color of the background for the parts that this image does not cover and the color we used was 36555E that's just a weird color blue that looks nice so now if we go to the website which I'll just drag this in here you can see we have that blue background that extends for as long as the browser is and then is far up and once the image ends which is just about right here it turns into that blue color so you can't even tell where it ends so let me move that to the side and let's start on the page wrap tag which is this over here and for this you just pretty much want to uh, give a width and that will contain the website within that and then a margin which will center the website in the browser so I'm going to do that by doing this pound sign which means ID and page wrap and then width and our website width is 960 pixels and I'm going to go margin zero auto which will center this div all right. So now let's uh, let's get this header in here real quick before I run out of time, thanks to YouTube's 10-minute limit. So I'm going to do ID header and then background URL, which is going to be this header image right here. And now we need to specify the width and the height of this. So the width is 960 pixels height is 246 pixels and then we want to center it because it is outside of this page wrap and I put it outside of there because it makes it uh, sometimes when it's inside of the page wrap you'll get some strange problems and I'm just trying to save a headache so I'm just going to go margin zero auto and then let's close that off save that and then one thing I like to do with the header is to make it clickable. So to do that, it's pretty easy. You just write on click location dot href equals, and this is going to be your index page or whatever page you want to have it go to. So index dot php. Oops, you got to have the single quotes, not the double. And then and that and then go to style equals and this is going to give it a cursor point so style equals cursor pointer and that's it let me extend this out so you can see the code a bit better and then if we preview this or first I need to upload these to my server real quick so we can preview this in the browser and refresh you can see that loads up and it's centered within the web browser no matter how far we drag this out it stays centered 
Alright, I'm going to end this tutorial here since we are on 10 minutes. And in the next part, we are going to start the navigation bar. So, see you then.